Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm sharing with you a creamy crock pot chicken chili. And let me tell you, this was so good. But honestly, I think I would recommend it more as like a dip at a party with some Tostitos to like dip in it. Um, we did like it a lot. The flavors were incredible, but I definitely think it was more so a dip than an actual like bowl of chili. It's super easy. You're just gonna drain your beans. You're not gonna drain the corn or any of the other veggies. You're gonna pour everything in your crock pot. Put, make sure you put the chicken in there as well and cook it on low for about eight hours. Um, and let me tell you, it was so good. I will leave the recipe down in the description box for you, but I'm kind of losing my voice for some reason. So I will spare you the raspiness and I will let you just watch how I made it. This is a mess because I'm currently in the process of working. I'm going to show you kind of what I do to bleach shirts. I figured I would include that today because that is what I'm doing, working hard at Julie Tees. All right, I'm currently bleaching. I've got all these shirts processing right now. And once they're done, I'll throw them in the wash. Oh my gosh, this is all I've been doing all day. And now I need to go put it all in. No, no mac. Hey guys, we just got home. Um, I'm exhausted if I'm being completely honest. Uh, we had the kids' dentist appointments. They were okay. Um, two out of three went good. Uh, and we had to reschedule another one. So, um, that was fine. Went to Target. I got a pink drink and it was so delicious. I drank every last drop of it. Um, back when I was pregnant with Paisley and Grant, I remember craving pink drinks so much. I don't think they were a thing when I was pregnant with Weston. Oh my gosh. So good. But so we went to Target. I didn't find much of anything other than the kids picked out a little goodie from there. And then, um, we went to Olive Garden for lunch and just got some salad and an appetizer and oh my gosh, it was amazing. It tasted so good. 
um, and the kids really enjoyed it. And then we went to Walmart after that quickly because we just needed a couple things. Um, and I got a pair of maternity shorts. I will show you a little haul from Walmart. Taking three kids out is a task and my mom was even with me and I am beat. Like I am ready for a nap. So I think I might make a second cup of coffee. Now that it's um, 2.30 in the afternoon, I'll be fine. I think I'll just make one of my International Delight iced coffees and call it good. And then I gotta figure out <coughs> figure out um, some housework. I've got to put laundry away. I have two baskets to put away that's already folded, some laundry to switch over, laundry to fold, um, all of that good stuff. I did get a video up today and it was the um, big pregnancy announcement video. I will link it here if you have not seen it. So um, super, super exciting and I've had some good feedback from that video. So I'm very excited um, for the future videos and what's to come but anyway i will give you guys a little haul from walmart and then i gotta get started with some housework paisley wanted had a second wind and she wanted some more of her lunch so she is enjoying that don't get spaghetti on her she picked out this beautiful ballerina from target it's so cute it was oh careful you almost got spaghetti on her it was in the like bedding section i thought she could do it yeah show magic legs okay so this is everything that I got from Walmart just a few things um, we grabbed two gallons of milk because we go through milk like crazy probably about a gallon every every two days I would say got some orange juice Weston has really been enjoying orange juice in the mornings and I love a glass of orange juice it helps with my sugar sometimes my sugar drops really fast and a glass of orange juice is what my doctor recommended so I like to have that on hand uh, we got two things of donuts these <laughs> are a guilty pleasure of mine, especially when I'm pregnant. So I'll probably have one of these and then the rest can be the kids. Uh, and Ryan really likes these ones. I got some tummy butter for stretch marks. I have um, been noticing my stomach's getting more round and I want to help uh, with not getting as many stretch marks. I know that's really hereditary, but I figured why not just try and help if I can. I've always used the Palmer's cocoa butter formula and that seems to work the best for me. And the smell is like not super strong or anything. Got a dozen of eggs, two packs of cinnamon rolls for this weekend just for an easy breakfast. It's 4th of July weekend so I know we're going to be really busy. We're having a cookout here and it's just, it's going to get crazy. So figured something quick and easy would be great. I got a four pack of uh, just some razors. I was running out of razors. I have none left and so I grabbed myself those. Um, a two pack of my favorite mascaras. These ones I like better than the pink tube. The pink tube seems to dry out a lot faster. So I got just the Voluminous Original Mascara by L'Oreal. It's one of my favorites. Some plain bagels because Weston really likes bagels and cream cheese in the morning. I got some uh, whipped cream. I've been out of whipped cream and we like to put some on fruit. We also like to, I like to put a little on top of my coffee. So I got those. For the cookout this weekend, I figured I would make it super easy and just bake some of these Toll House cookies. I thought about that where I thought about also maybe just getting a thing of like a platter of cookies. So I'm not really sure if I get a platter of cookies then I'll just make these up one day when the kids are, you know, playing with their cousins or whatever. All right, guys, I think I was moved over here. Sorry, my mother-in-law stopped by. She had to just ask me a quick question. Uh, next, I got these Bar Mop dish cloths. I just got these for cleaning rags because I really needed some new cleaning rags. The one that I have, it's a lot like this uh, material, and it works really well, but I've had it for like the last six years, which is absolutely absurd, and it is falling apart everywhere. So, yeah, this figure would be great. They're machine washable, and I can just bleach them, and then... Last but not least, I finally found a pair of maternity shorts. Um, they fit really well. I'm actually going to go put them on and try them on and see how I like them. They were only 11 bucks. Like, that's amazing. I just spent $25 a pair on Kohl's.com. So I have three pair of maternity shorts. That'll get me through the season. But I'm just really excited to try these out and see if I like them. And if I do, just so you know, um, they're definitely worth worth the money, the 11 bucks. They're, they're the Time and True brand, which I love the Time and True, and I didn't know that Time and True did maternity, so there you have it. But I'm gonna go try these on and I'll show you what they look like. All right guys, here are the shorts. Um, I definitely could have sized down because there's like room in this area, 
They're a little bit baggy, but honestly, my shirt covers it up anyway. They are so comfortable. I just figured with the growing belly, I would want them to have a little bit more room than be snug on me because I didn't really want to waste my money. And this belly is growing pretty quick. Here is my almost 13 week bump shot. I cannot believe it. Um, I'll be 13 weeks in just a couple days. And yeah, I think they fit good. I mean, they're not, they're not amazing by any means, but I do have two pair of more expensive shorts coming in the mail. And I think once these are washed and dried, they will fit a little bit better. But um, for now, I think they're fine. They look cute. They're comfortable. Uh, they're modest enough. They're not super short. So I like them. Yeah. All right, I want to show you guys the addition so far. I'm pretty sure they got the roof done. I don't know if you'll be able to see it from here. Let me see. Yep, well, look at that. The roof is done. I don't know if it's completely done. I know nothing about roofs, but it looks amazing. We got the same shingles as the uh, ones that are on the rest of the house, so it looks, it just looks amazing. It looks so good, I'm so excited. Uh, I feel like this was one of the harder parts. We do have electrical to do. And that's a lot, but um, guys, look at that. Look at how phenomenal it looks. This, um, I think I talked about it in my last video, but this is gonna be a big opening to walk in. There's gonna be like a hallway right here, and this will be a door to the baby's room. This will be a door to go outside onto the deck. We're going to bring the deck over to it, and then there'll be a door here to walk in to our bedroom and we put two big windows here with our bed and then a window, like a crank out window, smaller window there. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're gonna put a door here on this wall for our closet and obviously there'll be like a whole wall here. Oh my gosh, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing and I am so, so excited because this will give me an office. So Wesson's current bedroom is gonna turn into an office. So, and we still have a very decent sized deck. I think it's a perfect size. Um, it will be obviously connected to here. So that will add on a little bit more room. And yeah, it's perfect. I'm just so excited. I'm so giddy. I feel like a kid. <laughs> All right, I figured I'd give you guys a little garden tour. I don't think I've done that this year yet. So right here we've got our zucchinis. And I think this is zucchini as well. Is it zucchini? Yep, I see them in there. See, here's one right here. So there's zucchini. They're not ready yet though. Right here, um, I'm not sure what this is. Is this squash? This might be summer squash, but I could be totally wrong. Um, we've got dill here. I don't remember what's here. I think it's sunflowers. Sunflowers are here. Yes, don't touch them yet. And then we've got pepper plants. That guy doesn't look like he's doing too hot. Don't, don't pick them, Grant. They have to get red first. Okay, they're not ready yet. And then we have, I'm pretty sure this is rosemary. Um, we've got basil, another pepper plant. This is an eggplant. Yeah, don't touch it. That means that there's gonna, yeah, that means there's gonna be food. And then we've got all of our tomato plants. Yep, when they get red, we'll eat them. Right now they're just green, but we have a lot of tomatoes that are starting to pop up and that's exciting. Up in here, these are cucumber plants. We've got big cucumbers and small cucumbers. None of them are ready yet. They're usually not ready for another month at least, I would say. But when they all bloom, or when they all get ripe, it seems like they all get ripe at the same time. And so that's when we can stuff. So. Yeah, and then here are just some more sunflowers. So that is our garden, right? Is that the garden? Yeah, I'm vlogging, you show you something. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. 
Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl All right, guys, I just made myself a little mocktail. I did a splash of this blackberry hibiscus bellini, and this is very bubbly, and it has no alcohol in it. It's supposed to taste like wine, but it just didn't have a lot of flavor. So then I put a splash of this white crayon peach juice in it as well, and it's like a bubbly juice. It's so good. So I'm just drinking out of my wine glass, feeling super fancy, even though we all know it's juice. And after the day I've had, I feel like I deserve this. So, cheers to drinking some juice. 